Welcome back to Is It Playable? In this video we'll be taking a look at whether Tomb Raider Anniversary is playable with BCSX2 within RetroArch. Two thousand seven. Hot damn. Now, I know the anniversary was a remake of um, Tomb Raider PS1. To an extent, it was a remake, but also a retelling of the story, because things are very different. I don't want to save. Sure. Then you'll grab widescreen. Hey! God, <laughs> it looks so goofy! Obviously, because I'm not using widescreen, so it makes sense. Yeah, that's fine. The one thing that this has made me realise is that the PS3 versions of these games were more than, well, I was going to say they were more than simple upscales, but they do look surprisingly well, or surprisingly good. Like the PS3 version, I mean. These look good as well. I don't know, I think it's most obvious with uh, Underworld. There's entire moments of that game that are completely different. I can skip. That looks... That's supposed to have a black background, so the menu is a bit blocked. Oh, this is fine, though. Yeah, it's supposed to have a, a background like that, so you can actually see. But you don't, so that's weird. But oh well. I still have... I don't have the... I do have the roly poly. Never mind. I thought I lost it for some reason. Hmm... Yeah, it's most obvious with Underworld, because there's moments in that game that are basically completely different. Most obvious of that is um, when you start the first level, after you get out of the mansion. There's a cutscene that plays, and on the PS2 version, it shows a laptop, and then she presses a button, which you can't really tell. But she presses something, and then two images pop up, one of Zip, and one of oh, whatever the other guy's called. So on the PS2 version it's like that, but on the PS3 version it's an actual like live video feed of both of those characters. So yeah, it's very, very different. I actually think that the PS2 version they had to completely redo certain things. Because I'm not sure if the games were made with PS2 in mind at first. I mean this came out 2007, so... That was the year of the PS3 I think, or was that 2006? I don't quite remember. Hmm. Oh yeah, I need to open the thing up. I remember. Sort of. Whee! Nice. I thought I had to jump up higher again for some reason. There we go. It is done. And now the guy gets killed. Spoilers. Actually, he doesn't kill. Get killed. He lives a long and happy life. Yep, on the other side of those doors. That's where he is. He's gone back to his family. <laughs> oh god. That scared me. Oh my god, I did it. With style. <laughs> I thought I was going to completely screw it up. Yeah, this is, uh, looking pretty decent, in all honesty. Like, the only issue this has had so far has been that the the menu doesn't complete, or doesn't load correctly, but that is really not an issue. Like, I'd much prefer have a texture like that be missing, as opposed to in-game textures being busted. Oh, I can shoot my weapon at the bats. Walk on to enemies. Yada yada yada. Oh god. Where the hell? Oh, this is just a let me go down. All stationary, press and hold triangle. 
Oh, just press Y. Uh, circle. <laughs> what am I press? <laughs> what am I on about? Oh no, there's still bats. Go away. There we go. Hooray! And we're in. Isn't this where there's a bear? Or like an ape? No, but there are wolves. That I do remember. As they just spawned in. Okay. Oh ho! Get owned. Isn't there like a medkit back here? No. This is just their little cubby where they spawn. The spawn cubby. Wait a minute. Oh no, that bridge. Okay, never mind. For some reason I thought the bridge was further along. But no, that's the one up above. I know there's bricks. But thankfully we can climb. Oh, that looks buggy. Sheesh. Yeah, it's because I jumped on it while it was still in motion. You're supposed to wait for it to stop. Who would have thought? I can't remember if it's a bear or an ape. Yeah, honestly, I do not remember. I know it's something that can kill you really quickly, if you're not careful. I'm not actually sure if it's something you even need to bother with. No, you don't. If you just jump toward the rope, grab it and jump off, boom, you're done. You can only go down there if you want to get a medkit, I think. Oh, we don't need one of those. Not at all. Who needs medkits? Yeah, that's a real question. Oh. Wait, what? Oh, right here. Yeah. I couldn't see it. <laughs> yeah, for some reason it just blended in. And I don't know about you, but I have yet to see a dip. A noticeable dip. Oh. Do it again! Ah! Oh. <laughs> I got hit twice. Jesus. There we go. All around the clock. I think I'm able to do this. I don't quite remember. I am indeed. So there's one. Oh. I don't want to do that. Crap. Oh. Yes, I think I have to be quick. There we go. Got him. Oh god. I didn't know that you were there. Whatever. I don't remember where to go. Oh, there I do. Come on. Oh, we did it. Phew. Didn't mean to do that, but whatever. We got it. And that's actually the end of the first level. At least I'm pretty sure it is. It should pop up, do you want to save? It does it. Oh, it does. Never mind. I thought it didn't. Yeah, it's weird how that texture is missing. I'm going to die here anyway. Because I have to fight a bear. There you go. <laughs> Either way, this has been like absolutely perfect. There's been no issues. Aside from the menu and certain certain menu textures not loading, I also noticed it with the um, load bar. I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be like a black background that the load bar fills up, but oh well, it's a very minor thing. Performance-wise, the game has been perfect, literally perfect. So I would have to say that Tomb Raider Anniversary is playable. So that's going to be the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you have enjoyed. If you did, be sure to like, subscribe, leave suggestions for games you want to see, and until next time, take care.